So in building our header, we need a few key elements. We're going to need our logo, we're going to need our menu, we probably want a button that has some kind of call to action, and we're going to want some links to our social media. And remember, we planned all that out on our little piece of paper earlier. So we're actually going to add a strip to our menu to, so that we can have multiple columns and make better use of this space. So let's move this strip out of the way just for now. Drag in a new strip. And then we want to move this up to the header. So to do that, we're going to make the strip smaller. And we're going to make it page width. Once we've made it page width, we're going to make it a little smaller so it can fit in the header. Drag it up. And it'll glow orange. And it'll say attach to header. That's how you know it's actually being attached to the header and not being moved behind the header. So if you don't see this orange box that says attached to header, you're not in the header. You need to probably make your strip smaller so it'll fit within that header. Or you need to unstretch it. Okay, so our strip's back in the header. We can stretch it again to make it, excuse me, we can make the header smaller to make it the width of the strip. And then we can click the stretch and stretch it back to the full screen. Okay, so now we have a strip in our header. It's a great start. And now let's make this two columns. One column will hold our logo. The other column will hold our menu and our button and our social media links. So we click Add Column. Now we have these two big columns. Let's change the layout. The logo is only going to be in the left corner, right? So we can make that probably something like 25% of the strip. OK, so now we have two columns. And then if we click again on, this, on column one, we can click Layout, and we can align the co content to the left. That way we have the logo directly in the left corner. And then on column two, we can do the same thing. Click the column, click layout, and align it to the right. And now all of our content's gonna fit in here within these black and white dotted lines. Okay? So now we're gonna drag our logo, and our logo is just gonna be an image that we uploaded earlier. We're gonna drag our logo into the header. We have a folder for that. Cool. It's attached to header, so that's good. We're going to make sure it's within those dotted lines. Now it says attached to column. Okay, now our logo's in the header, and we're going to link this as well to the home page. Most people know that if you click on the logo, you can go back to the home page, but you have to do this manually in Wix. So now that our logo's in there, clicking the chain link icon, and then clicking page home. Okay. Now we're going to drag our menu into this column. So we hit the plus button, we go to menu, and then themed menus. We're going to drag this first one in here. It says attach to column. Cool. Now we have a menu in here, but this isn't the right order of pages, and it's not all the pages we want to have. So we click manage menu, and we can change the order of the menu and add menu items. So we're going to add some menu items and reorder this. So blue button. Add menu item, and then site pages. These are all pages that exist on this website. The order I want is blog first, then our videos, then our then our shop. There's actually going to be a button, so we're going to remove that. The three dots, we're going to click and say hide from menu. It's just going to hide it from the menu, not the whole website. And we're going to move the form up after the videos. So we've got blog videos form about contact. I think that'll work. So we can click out of, out of that. And now we want a button for our shop. And we want links for our social media. So button, we'll do that theme button again. Put it just to the right. So now the button will say shop, and where it says what is it linked to, we'll click there and go to page, and we'll select the shop page. Okay, so now I have a button that says shop, that's linked to our shop, to make it really obvious that people can click to our shop and go shopping. How many times can I say shop? <laughs> okay, and so now we're going to add social media buttons above the menu and the shop button. 
So we'll click plus and then under social right here we have these bars. Let's do black buttons for now. And so now we have all these links to social media. Let's put it to the right, aligned on the right with the shop button. Those are really big, right? So if we click layout, we can make those smaller, maybe like 20-ish. Move these back down. Let's maybe make this button a little big and smaller. So we can drag on the corner to make that a little smaller. So now we have a header. And let's drag our strip back up now. Okay, so we have the start of a website already. We have our menu, we have a logo, we have our hero image, a button to click to the shop, we have our social icons. We are moving. Now to set your social links, you can click set social links. And then all you have to do is click what social page does this icon link to. You click there and you just type it in. So ours is Pair Digital. Okay. Also, if you don't like these icons, you can click the replace icon and choose a new icon. So typically you can just search Facebook and then they have a bunch of different icons for Facebook. You can do a circle, you can do this, the actual brand colors of Facebook. We'll keep it black the way it is for now. Now, one thing you might have noticed is that our menu font isn't the same as our other fonts. I think we want this menu font to be our heading font just because it's a nice style, I like the way it looks. So we're gonna click the menu, and then we're gonna click design. This pops up, and then we're gonna customize the design at the bottom, this blue button. So we click there, we have all these options. And so under regular, we can click text, and then choose a theme. Remember we set our themes earlier. So we can choose our, I chose the H6 for Dalton, and set the 26. Now I think that's a little big, so let's make it maybe 20. I think that's a good size, maybe even 18 because it's a capital font. I think 19. That seems like a happy medium. Okay, now we have regular, hover, and clicked. So the way each one of these menu items appears is going to be different depending on how you're interacting with it, whether you're hovering over it whether it's the page you're on because you clicked that, that link or if it's just sitting there. So if we hover over it, maybe we want it to be red, like our brand colors. You can see an example of what that would look like. Maybe we want it to be blue because our shop button is red and that's a nice contrast. I think maybe let's keep it as blue. I think that looks great. And then if it's clicked, we can, it can be red. A lot of design is like this. You really just sort of feel out what you think looks best to you. As you do it more and more, you get a better idea of what looks good and what works and what doesn't. A lot of it is just practice and repetition. Okay, so now we have our full menu ready to go. In the next video, let's talk about styling our buttons.